Hello viewers, welcome to my Doctor Who themed YouTube channel, Who Ventures. And in this video I have an extra special book review, as this is the Doctor Who cookbook by Gary Downey. Now I shall read the back for you. The Macra Terror lived off a steady diet of toxic gas. The Ogre fed on blood, and even the fifth doctor was known for his fondness for salary. However, we humans need something a little more substantial, and Gary Downey has raided the cookbooks of the show's stars for to produce a mouth-watering selection of recipes, guaranteed to delight your taste buds. From all corners of time and space come such exotic delights as Time Lady Satsuki and Castro Balvin Kebabs, plus Mina's Tachyonic Sauce and Patrick Troughton's Vegetable Soup with Dalek Crotons. And for the adventurous, there's also Barry Letts' Mysterious Unnamed Dish from Venus, which lists among its ingredients, Blim Tree, Worms and Grated Snatch. Bon Appetit. So, the reason why I got this is because there is a hilarious and very surreal thread on, on a Doctor Who forum that is just the best thing ever for cheering you up and getting you giggling. It's just, you can't stop laughing once you read it. So, and this um, was sort of posted about and I thought, I have to get that. That looks amazing. So I got it. It's quite easy to find on Amazon. It's relatively cheap. And this is a nice shiny, practically new copy. Now this was published in 1985 and I would have been five years old. So I didn't really have much clue about Dr. Who back then. But I would have loved some of these recipes. So first of all, we have there's loads of these little carty, really cute cartoons. And that's a cartoon of the author eating lots of recipes and typing the book. Gary Downey is a multi-talented individual, dancer, choreographer and now expert intergalactic cook. He has worked on many shows in London's West End. And his TV credits include I Claudius, Paul Dark, Nicholas Nickleby, Wuthering Heights, and of course, Doctor Who. He is currently working as production manager in the BBC's drama department. And then there's also a little note there about measurements and what they mean. So this is a marvellous book. It is actually a very good book for learning the, a bit of history about Doctor Who as I'm about to show you. So we start off with the soups section. So his doctor's recorded in his soup. As you have a little biography of every person who has contributed a recipe to this book. So it's, you do really learn a lot in this book and there's a lot of like personal opinion as well as loads of like so it's, it's just get it if you want to learn all about Doctor Who and try some brilliant recipes as well and on some of the recipes they have uh, amusing Who names and some of the um, ingredients are called rather amusing Who names so we have from Patrick Troughton, vegetable soup with Dalek crotons. And on most of the recipes there's an author's note and he's usually saying which alcoholic beverage would go best with the recipe. So that's very useful. It seems to like ice cold lager. So on this page we have Ruler Lenske has given us Clodnick soup which is summer beetroot soup. And then we have a lovely cartoon of um, Patrick Troughton um, doing swirling his soup cauldron with his recorder. And there's Dalek in there. 
and some other item of Classic Who, who I'm not quite sure I recognise. And he's thinking of a tune in his head. So the, this is an awesome book, I uh, just love it. Then from John Poetry, yay. And then we have, he's cooking up something on a Bunsen burner. And he's got something in his other hand, I'm not quite sure what it is. He has given courgette soup. Courgette, otherwise known as the zucchini soup. So, mm, there are lots of recipes that I actually do want to try in this. Um, from Maureen O'Brien, Vicky, companion to the first doctor, we, <clears throat> we have Vicky Soir soup. And a, a picture of Vicky serving soup to the first doctor while standing on a block of ice in a fur coat. Yes. Then on this page have Nicholas Courtney, Brigadier Lethbridge Stewart, and his recipe for borscht. And then we have his arguing with I'm not quite I, I'm not quite sure which is Benton, which is Yates or whatever. But he's wrestling with one of his colleagues over this big pot of soup. And on this page we have Neris Hughes, who is Todd and Kinder. And we have Neris's Kinder Soup. Mm. And on this page is very amusing write-up about John Nathan Turner, producer at Doctor Who. It's quite amusing about Hawaiian shirts and that. And um, his recipe is Hawaiian soup. And on this page we have a big cooking pot full of John and Nathan Turner and the Hawaiian flowers and the Hawaii girls cooking him. <laughs> And then from the Doctor Who fan club of America, Ron Katz, we have Southwestern Gallifrey Corn Soup. So, on to the appetizers and savouries. And we have a lovely looking kebab made from the First Doctor's walking stick. In which case, those olives must be absolutely massive. So, from Verity Lambert, first producer of Doctor Who, we have hot potato salad, which sounds really yummy. And the first Doctor has um, dropped his hot potato and what looks like let out some extraneous gas. That's what it seems to be. And then on this page we have Richard Herndon, the first Doctor, and his chicken mousse. And there's Richard Herndon holding, in fact, a chicken mousse. This is awesome book. So we have Janet Fielding, Tegan, companion to the fourth and fifth doctors, the Fielding's favourite souffle. And on this cartoon, we have the, um, the fifth doctor and his baked cake. But he's sort of not sure about his expression because I think Tegan's used his TARDIS time motor console thing as an oven. So he seems to be rather perturbed by that. On this page we have Johnny Byrne, writer for Doctor Who, and his recipe, Kepper of Tracken. Very good pun there. And then we have a fish dressed up. That looks like he's got a smile face, but if you look at it that way, it's fish. Smile fish. Face, smile face, fish, smile fish, fish, so I can't see it fast. Yeah. On this page we have Valentine Dial, who is the Black Guardian, and his recipe, Moules à la Guardian Noir. So, muscle. And on this page we have Mary Tam. Romana, first incarnation, 
with Thai lady Satsiki. Mm. And Ramana one is sat on K9 while she's whisking up her recipe and K9 is sort of shaking his head and looking rather annoyed. So yeah. This page we have Philip Latham, Verusa in the Five Doctors and Verusa Peppers. And a picture of Verusa with his face seemingly substituted for Peppers. Interesting. On this page we have Stratford John's Monarch in Forty Doomsday. And this recipe is Frog's Legs a la Provençal. It's very interesting to find a recipe for fox legs in this book. I wasn't expecting it. But look, uh, he's resting his leg because he's a frog. Interesting. Now we have Janet Fielding's Fe Fielding's Ocker Balls. See, that's that. And we have the cartoon as Adric and his basically just eating everything and Tegan is looking extremely angry and Adri is looking very pleased with himself for eating everything. Then Mark Strickson to Low, companion to the fifth doctor with his one o'clock salad. Now this salad um, contains Chinese lettuce, tomatoes, bacon, butter, vinaigrette and for some unusual reason, it does say suggested wine on the recipe, but that isn't what the recipe is actually is. For some unusual reason, the author's note says this dish is definitely for the 18 year old Novi. It's a salad, a quiet snack for lunchtime. So I'm not quite sure where you got the over 18 waiting for that salad. Interesting. On this page we have Ingrid Pitt, Dr. Slow in the Warriors of Deep and Dr. Slow's special ones. Blinis, Razumovsky salad. Then we have this cartoon which I'm not very good at describing because I haven't memorised everybody's characters. But the thingy is basically Greg Wallace looking over Ingrid Pitt as she competes on MasterChef and he's sort of licking his lips for I can on this page we have Matthew Robertson director of Resurrection of the Daleks and Attack of the Cybermen with Doctor Who's Soft Planet Landing this very booty recipe that. Then we have Adrian Curry is Mina in the Leisure Hive with Mina's tachyonic sauce and one of these creature thingies and um, basically nicking all the food and nicking all the sauce on the saucepan and she's getting very angry with that creature. Then I have Fiona Cumming, director of Castro Valve, Snake Dance, Enlightenment and the Planet of Fire with Snake Dance Starter. And there's a snake dancing in the starter, as you would expect. David Banks, Cyber Leader in Earthshock, The Five Doctors, Attack of the Cybermen. And he has created Cyber Leader Special for Iron Replenishment, High in Iron Content. And this is rather amusingly referencing Lot Cybermen. And the picture is Colin Baker stirring up some food, cooking in the Cyberman head, by licking his lips with the tongue. Mm, Numb. We have Fraser Hines. Jamie McCrimmon, companion to the second doctor with his Mushrooms McCrimmon. So basically lots of mushrooms, nom nom. 
Martin, oh, yeah, and the picture is him. I get so confused. Him, the second doctor, eating a big mushroom. And yay. Martin Jarvis, the governor in Vengeance on Varus, Butler in Invasion of the Dinosaurs, and Helio in the Web Planet. And he has created Croc de Governor or Croc Provençal. Nom nom. I like that a lot. Lella Ward, Romana second incarnation, has created ETT, which is extraterrestrial terrain. Terry Malloy, Davros, has created Davros Dalek Dip. Nabil Shaban, Sil, in Vengeance on Varus, has cooped up. Sills slimy slayer, frog's legs and seaweed sauce. So another way of cooking those frog's legs. Very nice, very buttery. Now we go on to the main courses. First of all, there's a little cartoon picture of a foot coming down on some salad, but there's a tiny little sill sat in the salad. Don't want to eat him. So. And the main courses and start and start with we have fish dishes and the tortoise in the goldfish bowl. So we have Roger Delgado, the first master, has cooked up salmon in pastry. Oh, I really want to eat that. I could just eat that now, I'm really getting on. So as we have the master catching some salmon out of the river with his saucepan and his big pointy foot thing. Then Paul and Andrew Conrad, Romulus and Remus in the twin dilemma. So first of all we have Remus Pie. Hmm, we've had in it. Colin Baker, the sixth doctor. Now his recipe is Doctor's Temptation. So you have, he's got lots of kitties sit around him and he's fishing for the fish for his meal. That's a kitty! That's a cute. Anthony Ainley, the master, and he has created a master prawn curry. That, that does sound quite nice and this is a recipe where ice lager would be ideal. Nigel Stock. Professor Hater in Time Flight has created hot spinach and prawns. Now we have a very, very interesting picture here of John Pertwee holding a can of spinach, which is very unusual. And he's flexing his arms and seems to be rather perplexed at that his sort of muscle shape has appeared out of his arm while he's holding a can of spinach. He hasn't actually taken the lid off properly of the spinach, so he'll have to put that down and take it off properly, otherwise he'll get a very nasty cut. So, be more careful in the kitchen. William Hartnell, the first doctor. So his family have said, meddling monkfish chowder is really yummy at home, and it does sound very yummy. John Scott Martin has created Dalek Bake with Exterminate Topping. Mm. And we have a Dalek and he's sunk and he's baked at the bottom of the ocean to try and exterminate some fish for tea. Yay. So Faith Brown, Blast in Attack of the Cyberman, has created Soul Suzanne. Mm. Very interesting recipes. I don't think these recipes have dated very, very much either, so I think they could still do quite a nice modern dinner party with them. Matt Irvine, visual effects designer, has created Pirate Paella. Now, yes, this this the one where it's very amusingly written because 
they've written ingredients that you get in space but are really just quite um, plain ingredients. Apart from squid, don't like squid. But I, thought, I think I did try squid one time and it was very rubbery. And at uh, this picture we have, uh, I assume that is Lella Ward and one, I'm not sure if that's a lion person or a cheat person. And then a big pot full of steaks and scary lobsters. I had a lobster once at Port Marion. I was like really posh lobster, it was half lobster. I was just digging into it, getting all the white meat out. Then foolishly I decided to try to flip it over. So I flipped it over and so it landed on the plate. It moved about a bit as like I nearly fell off my chair. It had an eye in it and hair. It had hairy legs. It's like, ah, I'm in the fall of a chair. It was tasty though. But then John Stratton, I don't know, have we said that yet? John Stratton, shock eye, shock eye of the Quorn Sing Greg in the Two Doctors has created Coley and her and I have the picture is of Helen Baker and um, uh, somebody else. It's sometimes hard to interpret these pictures, but I assume that's John Stratton in his big costume thing. He's got a big fork behind him, and Helen Baker is some seemingly protecting his pocket, which must be full of something, because. His hands have stars coming out of it. Unless he's just stabbed him in the hand with his fork. But I think he's protecting some food. Now we go on to the meat dishes. Yay. Oh, not so yay. I'm a vegetarian. Well, I'm a pescatarian. I like the fish dishes. Dishes. But not the meat ones. So, Nicola Bryant, companion to the fifth and sixth doctors, has created hamburgers in mushroom sauce. And we have a picture of Perry waving her flag and holding a hamburg. Yay. Heather Hartnell has created beef mustardis. Mustardis. I just got that. <laughs> I thought it was just like some foreign way of saying it. <laughs> anyway, we have a picture of Tardis and the cow jumping over the moon. Yay. Peter Purvis, who I've met and had a lovely cuddle with, has created Dr. Ooze Billet Steak. Mm. Possibly. Although there's a really weird note at the bottom of this. Dr. Ooze, so called because it is very rich. The sauce is delicious. I make a similar sauce which an aunt of mine taught me how to make and we called it Monkey Gland Sauce. I was just extremely perplexed by that note. Says, what? I have Mark Stetson has made Tillow's rolls. So there's a picture of Tillow and is that meant to be the second doctor? And he's got a bird on his head. So I, I'm not actually quite sure what's going on there. Sarah Sutton, Lisa, companion to the fourth and fifth doctors, has created a lasagna. And there's Lisa being followed by that one that has just come out as an action figure. But I can't remember his name. So Nicholas Courtney, we have a steak Diane. And then we have cooking the barbecue with a flamethrower. Not so good advice. I wouldn't advise it. Fiona Cumming has created Castro Balvin kebabs. And his, the fifth doctor, he's chucked away his salary and I think he's debating wearing a kebab on his lapel. So it's an easy snack so you could just go like that. 
Mm. Yay! Ingrid Pitt has created Schwarze. Looks like I've got cabbage in it as well. I would pick them off at red cabbage and make a delicious accompaniment to Ingrid's Schwarze. And more wine recommendations. Brian Hodgson, Radiophonic Workshop, has created Gammon Gallifrey. Mm. It's a very exciting book coming up. Linda Barron, Rack in Enlightenment, has created Rack of Lamb, spelled W R A C K. See what she did there. And then we have a very exciting bit colour photo section of Colin Baker being very confused about what he is actually cooking. <laughs> and if I'm not mistaken, is that a calculator watch? So that a calculator watch or a watch that's a calculator. A calculator watch. I got very excited when I saw that. Is, is that is going to be a calculator watch? It must be. I don't know why he's looking so confused though. I love this book. And then we have Nick Bryant either cutting a lemon or an orange. I'm not quite sure which. And a very retro TV. I think we have that TV. I'm not sure. Oh, I think we had that kitchen roll. Uh, so, it has to take a lot of concentration to cut up an orange for 11. But that looks fun. Yeah. And then, I forgot who this was because I didn't do it. This is Fiona coming, eating a very yummy looking pudding. Lots of cream and strawberries and things. I totally had that. And it's got raspberries as well. I said just that. I would totally eat that. There we have opposite page Jamie McCrimmon. He's chopping some up and he's got nobody does it better. And his t shirt and his little stunts. There you go on it. I like that. <laughs> so back to the recipes. We have Terry Marloy, the Dad Ross's Ribs of Revenge. And um, on this cartoon picture, we have Dad Ross with uh, the four dots hat on, and he is cooking him. He is basically spit roasting him over an open fire. He wants to eat the four doctor. Well, I guess that's not quite spit roasting, but. He's burning his arse at least. So now we have Neris Hughes's Todd in the Hole, another good pun there. Robert Holmes, writer, has made corned beef hash and I'm not quite sure what that creature is but he's cooking and he's got lots of legs which is very useful but he's a bit scary. It's cooking a dinner. Then we have Terence Sticks, writer, has created Shabog and Stroot Stew, a dad can't say. Now this picture is Colin Baker seen again, have enjoying a very nice meal with some cavemen who are going smack, burp, slurp, jump, gulp, munch, gobble. So, that's a cooking in the big pot. Now I have Johnny Bear. With spiced rib of banjix. Fit is apparently that in the picture. And he's kicked with what seems to be Colin Baker's doctor again. In the head, and there's apples on the floor. Because he's been nicking apples. It, and don't worry, it doesn't use, this recipe doesn't use anything like horse or anything. Because I thought that was a horse. It news beef, which is still a but apparently a snow. Peter Moffat, director of State of Decay, The Visitation, Margin Undead, The Five Doctors, The Twin Dilemma, The Two Doctors, has created Moffat's Moussaka. I like lentil Moussaka, it's nice. And in this picture, we have Colin Baker's Doctor, we have Patrick Charlton, and this 
sort of plan a sort of face off. Troughton, armed with a ladle and a whisk. Colin Baker, armed with a rolling pin and, surprisingly, an egg. I think we know who's going to win that one. Judd Stratton has made shock eye Musaka. It's not got eyes. That that would be a shock if it actually had eyes. So yeah. Sarah Hallings, director of The Mark of the Rani, has created Rani Steak Casserole. Absolutely delicious, especially with the bottle of pre loose or even two. Then we have the poultry and game section and we have Colin Maker again and he's all covered in rabbits because he saved all the rabbits and he's been very angry at the hunter. Oh the rabbits look cute. Oh. And then he's got two, a duck on his head. I assume it's a duck and a chicken in his arms. Warris Hussain, director of An Unearthly Child, created Look Now Spice Chicken. And it seems that William Hart now hasn't realised how spicy the chicken would be. Because Susan giggling because he's the chicken is too spicy. Because his hair's been on fire. Leonard Sachs, Lord President for Reset in Arc of Infinity, has made Doc a la range. So, that's tasty. Jackie Lane, Dodo, companions, first doctor, has made chicken chaplet a la dodo. And she's trying to coax the chicken down from on top of the time motor, who has firmly crossed his feathers and said, No, I am not being cooked. But, fair enough. Maurice Denham, Professor Edgeworth as male in the twin dilemma has created grilled breasts of chicken a la as male. Then we have Colin Baker's doctor again. He's, he's monopolising this cookbook quite a lot. And he's very proud to have cooked something, but Perry is not so keen because he seems to have cooked a bird and the legs are sticking up and it seemed to be bird to a crisp. So she's not keen on eating that. Paul Conrad has created Romulus apricot chicken and here's Colin Baker <laughs> again and he's sort of he seems to have eaten the mummy chicken because he's got a plate of bones in front of him and then all these little baby chicks are here and they look all sad and he's looking at them through his fingers and it's like, it looks like it's a bit Oh no, I ate their mom! That like, oh what? And it's like he's eating their mother. And all the chick, little chicks are sad and he's a bit sweaty and embarrassed. Dick Mills, audio effects, has made croutonised con... See, I don't know how to say it. it K H O N C I E something. I'm not quite sure. Oh yes, this is the one that's completely in space language, and you have to look at the key to find out what everything is. Very amusing. Author's note: A lovely, amusing recipe. I hope you have fun working it out. Beryl Reed. Briggs in Earthshock has made Briggs Poulet à l'orange. So, chicken and orange. Michael Goff, the celestial toy maker in The Celestial Toy Maker and Hedden in Ark of Infinity. Celestial chicken or paradisical peacock. I don't think he actually. Oh my god, this does actually say you can have chicken or peacock. Yuck, why would you eat peacock? They're so pretty. Can't believe you'd, see, you'd eat peacock. No, this is Celestial Toy Maker. Toy, what is it called then? Celestial Toy Maker chasing after a peacock. 
so he can cook it. That's so mean. Dave Chapman, Video Effects, has created Chicken Boogaloo. Yay. <laughs> so, and I have a chicken dancing with Tom big scarf on and his hat. Yeah. Danny Sheridan, or Dina Sheridan, Chancellor Flavia in The Five Doctors. Chancellor Flavia's chicken favourite. The so, my chicken. And apparently, a chilled dry white wine is nice with the meal. So on we move to the vegetarian dishes. Yeah, and a big, that's a big piece of celery and a big bite taken out of it. Then I have Jacqueline Hill, Barbara Wright, companion to the first doctor. Has created Aubergine Mac. And we have Nicholas's head on a plate. Ready for serving, ready for eating. <laughs> and there's, there's Barbara all just up. Peter Moffat has made Viennese cabbage. And we have Colin Baker again. And he's holding a cabbage and saying, alas for cabbage. Jacqueline Pierce, Chazine Chaz 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 and the Two Doctors has made casserole a la chazine. Baronet, producer of Doctor Who 1969 to 1974, has created his unnamed recipe which has the grated snatch, which is actually cheddar. Nothing very unusual. Now we have John Pertwee, yay! And um, this big wasp thingy is chasing after him and Joe and it's basically just whisked her off her feet as she's running in a very unusual pace. That's awesome. Elizabeth Sladen, Sarah Jane Smith, companion to the third and fourth doctors, contributed cauliflower cheese. I love cauliflower cheese, really yummy. And we have um, I'm not quite sure what's happening on this picture. She's sneaking up with a bottle of cheese sauce and a knife and fork to something that looks not much like a cauliflower. It looks like it's got loads of shower heads and tentacles and leaves. Then we have John Pertwee contributed poached egg salad, which is yummy. And at this point, this is the picture. Jump Hertree has got an egg and he's sort of considering it in a very sort of news night university challenge kind of way. And the chicken is basically in the middle of laying another egg or is sat on, just still sat on the egg and is basically looking at him in a very pissed off manner of a bugger off, can't you see I've got an egg coming out my arse kind of way. I know eggs don't come out of arses, but it fit with the punchline. So, yeah, that's a very good picture. I do love this book, it is awesome. Matthew Ward's house, Adric, companion to the fourth and fifth doctors, has made mushroom pancakes and hollandaise sauce. And there's Cartier and Adric having a massive pile of pancakes stuck in his face. Mm. Louise Jameson, Leela, companion to the fourth doctor, has made Leela's savage savoury. And we have Leela swinging through the vines and chopping some into the cauldron, cooking the pot. Mmm, yum. Yay! Desserts! I have a bag of jelly babies! Jelly babies! Yay! Fiona Cumming has made Planet of Fire pudding. And we have the master all on fire in front of this pudding. Maureen O'Brien has made rhubarb jumbly. Mm, I like that. The custard. Heather Hartnell has made special chocolate jumblies. And there's the first doctor weighing himself because he's eaten all these lovely recipes. Cyril Luckham, the White Guardian, has made guards pudding. So we have the two guards here in the middle of a custard pie fight. I 
Did they actually have beards on their heads in the show? Because they've got beards on their heads. That's weird. Yeah, and, it, and it's going split in his face. Nicola Bryant has created Perry's Pineapple Cheesecake. And here we have John Nathan Turner being sort of slightly muddly perplexed at Perry, who's basically got barely any clothes on, doing a sort of hula dance with a pineapple on her head, and Colin Baker is presenting this spectacle. Linda Barron has made ephemeral pudding, so she's attached to a boat, a, a big plate of pudding in the net. Matthew Robinson has made Doctor Who's fruit bombs, which sound tasty. Eliza Goddard has Carrie and Terminus and has made Carrie star tarts. Mince pies with tart shape on top, I love that. Mm. The Doctor Who Appreciation Society of Great Britain, Society Coordinator David Saunders, has made rum pudding. Mmm, that sounds nice. It's like it's got loads of gelatin in it, I don't quite know why. I have to substitute that for vegetarian gelatin, see if it works. The Conrad Twins created Twin Surprise. There's twins jumping out of a present. Yay! Lawrence Payne, Johnny Ringo in The Gunfighters, Morix in The Ledge High, Starry in The Two Doctors, has created Apricot's Alida Starry. Patricia O'Leary, production assistant on Enlightenment and The Two Doctors, has created Camera Script Ice Cream. Sarah Sutton has created Brandy Sponge Cake. Mm. Johnny Byrne has created Malcolm's Prize. So, Spun Ben Sponge Cake picture is what looks like a flapper party with that weird clowny guy. And here we go, here we present and she's got a wasp mask on her head. And he's already started dancing in a sort of weird way, because how else is he dancing? Uh, it's like pudding. There's the one. Yeah, and this other picture is that Mal I was uh, the Malcor, that's what it's called, the Malcor creature, and apparently it has somebody jumping out from inside him with big claws and a scary face. John Leeson, K9, has created brown bread ice cream, and I have a picture of K9 licking the ice cream, waggling his tail, so it's really tasty. Terry Marley has made Davos's extermination pudding and this is a very unusual picture which sort of disturbed me a little bit because it is Davros and he's ready to eat his pudding and the Daleks exploded and just spraying white stuff all over Davros's pudding so uh, that could be custard maybe possibly Dalek custard I uh, have Sarah Lee, secretary to JNT, has created the original Sarah Lee Gatto. Mmm, I like Gatto. And I have the picture of Sarah Lee at a desk trying to do all the secretarial work for JNT, lots of phones ringing. And you've got Colin Baker and JNT singing, Nobody Doesn't Like Sarah Lee. Yeah, basically, yeah. Caroline John, Dr. Elizabeth Shaw, companion to the third doctor, has created chocolate fudge cake. Oh, that's my favourite. I love chocolate fudge cake. I have it with custard. It goes amazing custard because all the ice and sort of melts into the custard. It's gorgeous. Heather Hartnell has created chum leaves. It sounds really tasty. Carol Ann Ford, Susan, the doctor's granddaughter, has created apple thingy. Mm. Ian Marty, Harry Sullivan, companion to the fourth doctor, has created nautical pudding. And the picture is they have uh, stranded on this little wooden boat and some 
I don't, I'm not quite sure who that lady is. But then the, the floaty thing saying imbecile on it. <laughs> and somebody's sort of, I'm not sure, it says Google Glob Glob Glob. George Baker, login in full circle, has created Decider's Dessert. And here we have um, a sea creature in the thingy item being fed by the fourth doctor and he's sort of sat in a sort of wheelchair or high chair possibly and the fourth doctor is feeding him. Dan Sheridan has created Chancellor Flavor's favourite syllable. I really want to try a syllable. I've never had one. Nicholas Courtney has created Coupe Nick, which is another syllable made with side. Dick Mills has created Pavlova Perfection. Sarah Hallings has created Winter Fruit Salad. Now we go on to the drinks. So for this picture we have the chair base is seemingly rotted away. A bit like in Casino Royale when Daniel Craig has to sit with his knackers dangling down to they whip him up. And then they whip his knackers to his like really bad. <laughs> Which you would be I guess. But that's what this chair looks like. There's no seat in it. It's called the Rose and Grain Pub I think. I can't quite make that up. Make that out. And we've got a bit like, it looks like John Page has been in. And there's a raise on the table and some wine. Yay. Peter Davison, the fifth doctor, has created the doctor's chocolate malted medicine. And uh, there he is with the whisk trying to make all the chocolate and splashing it everywhere. Nicola Bryant has created Purple Gilliam's Purple Punch. And also Nicola's Naturin Cup. And she's punched out the mask there. Yee. Cyril Luckham has created White Guardian's Wine Cup. And I assume that's the White Guardian stamping all the grapes for the wine. Fiona Cumming has created Enlightenment Lemonade. Sarah Lee has created Sonic Screwdriver Cocktail which is ice mint, two shots of vodka, two shots of martini, four sh shots of orange juice and mix it all up in a cocktail shaker. So shaken but not stirred. John Nathan Turner has created No Common Nectar. And we have a picture of John Nathan Turner on his sunbed with a dog licking up all his drink. He's fast asleep. And then we have the Brigadier's Banquet. Nick has decided that if he that if he were to throw a dinner party and invited you, this is the menu he would serve you. All the dishes are his personal favourites. Here then is a typical brick menu. Menu: Borscht al brig share, salmon fumet escoce Stuart clan. Le filet de bœuf Diane, femme de brick, le gourmet de la saison, puntemps, coupé nick, sorbet, café grec, van rose de Californie, conventional location for San Jose, chocolat, a brave, so after eat. No. So if you want to do a celebratory dinner for the brick, that's your menu. And then a wonderful picture of the brick. A uh, uh, tall and wine. One more wine. And I have the index of all the different recipes there. So I totally recommend this book. It's actually awesome for your Doctor Who themed dinner parties. Especially a Doctor Who themed edition of Come Down With Me. Yay. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. And thank you for watching.